but I do think it turned out pretty good. Your still sound test. Alright, so what's going on guys? My name is CG Build, and welcome back to another video. Today we have another full-size keyboard, which a lot of people have been asking for. It's just ironic that there was two back-to-back -back videos about it. Anyways, this is the IF-98. This thing looks super clean. I, I mean, it just it just looks good. There's three different colorways. There's the, like, the green one you see here. You have the black version, and then the white as well. So, first look at this thing, dude. I mean, it just looks insane. I The, the feel of it, it's like that plastic see-through look. I think some see-through keycaps would look really cool with this. If there's, like, some green ones, maybe, that would look insane with this. But, I, this is in a timely manner. I didn't have them, so it is what it is. But I do think it turned out pretty good. Your still sound test. Hey, what can I say? I have a little catchphrase right there. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> so you might be wondering how much this thing costs. It is $150, which is it is pricey. I'm not going to lie. It's not the most expensive ever. For that price point, it's, it is going to be, like, I'm expecting a lot here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the whole case and everything it has to offer first before we actually mod this thing, in which I have some crazy mods first off. Not really crazy. I just, I've never done it before, so. Crazy. So taking a look at it and you flip it over, you do have a little, like, logo piece. Plus, on the back end, you see this little gold piece, which has some text on it. I actually have two of these, which is my fault. I don't know why I got the same exact colorway. It's weird, because the, the gold piece just says different things on the other one, and then this one. Yeah, this one, from Yuzimi. You, Yuz, Yunzi, Yunzi. Sorry if I butchered it. I'll leave all the links in the description. All, like, the two keyboards I have. You can go there and, like, buy it from there. But this one has a little blocker piece that looks pretty cool, and it goes with the theme of the green. Now, if you get one with the white or the the other one, the other colorway, it matches that as well. Which I think that's a really cool idea. I don't know if anyone's ever done that. I mean, they probably have. This thing's not new or anything. But putting that little piece where, like... I'm gonna be honest, I would never use that, whatever comes up here. So, like, it's cool that it's like a little piece. It's gotta give me ideas. The keycaps it comes with stock is decent. There are some printing issues, which, as you see here, the C, not a big fan. I don't know why that's even a thing. I don't even know why that's happening. That is a little bit upsetting if you are gonna be paying this much money for it, but it's not the end of the world. But this thing picking it up does have a little bit of weight to it, and it is pretty hollow inside, as you see whenever I open it up. There's, like, nothing in there. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it sounds pretty good. It looks pretty good. I'll leave you with a stock sound test real quick, but let me tell you what switches they have. These are the Gatoron yellow switches, which, they're yellow, so they're gonna be good. So... So as you can tell, the, the, the space bar and the stabs do need some work. We will fix that, as you can tell. Pretty decent. But other than that, I mean, it, the yellow sound really good. Uh, a little bit of hollow, which I expected, because, I mean, you can literally see through the back of it. So we got some mods for that. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. So it just takes these hex screws, which is annoying, to be honest. But... Every other manufacturer does it as well, so who cares? If anything, it's just like a normal thing. Like, if you do keywords a lot, just go ahead and get a hex screwdriver. Like, multiple sizes, like the iFixit kit. Not sponsored, just makes sense. Or you could just get one keyboard and be happy and not have to do like me and get a whole bunch. It'd be cool too. So you open it up and the bottom piece is completely empty. It's just phone. It's like, there's nothing in there. It's just, it's, it's, it's calling my name for mods, you know? Then you look at the PCB. It's a nice PCB. Yeah, it is north facing LEDs, which is a little bit of a bummer, but hey, ain't a deal breaker here. But now I'm going to leave it to you past Austin whenever I was doing this because uh, he is very smart and whimsical. All right, just for uh, being simple, uh, there's a piece of silicone in between that's like a layer and it's like it's like PE foamed as well and I, I'll show that off but I'm gonna be honest 
I don't want to take it off. I'm going to use these same switches. So I'm just going to not do it just for time's sake. So, uh, yeah. But, hey, that means it's good if I'm not taking it apart, you know? So now it's, it's time to do the mods. Now, for the mods, this case I thought would be perfect if I did my CG... Oh god, am I good? I would have done my CG mod. Now what that is, is you get some medical wrap or just bandages or whatever, and you put it in the back of the case, and it's it's there. I don't have any, and I, I didn't know what else to do. So, last resort, uh, t-shirts. This is the CG mod 2.0. I got an old t-shirt from my closet that was already, like, it's like a nighttime shirt, I guess. I don't know, I just, I never wear it, so I just pulled it out and started cutting away. I didn't really have a method to this, I just kind of put the keyboard next to it and was like, that looks good. And for this case, because it is that like deep, thick bottom part, it actually helped a lot. I, it was actually really smart for me to do this instead of doing the, the CG mod. Yeah, I was really shocked that the t-shirt worked. I did not expect it. I did have some heartache with the scissors though, I, I'll tell you that. This video is just kind of everywhere at the moment, I didn't know what I was doing. Now I decided at first to not tape mod this, but I did. I put it all together and I started typing away and it sounded too, it like sounded cheap. So I went ahead and I tape mod it and now it sounds like this. It has that thonk. That row doesn't. So now moving on to the stabs. I, the stabs weren't too bad. They were very, they had some tick and I didn't know why. I, I, I was going to figure it out of course because I'm a genius. And when I opened it up and I took a look at them, they, they were not clipped. Very upsetting. I mean, $150, you shouldn't have to clip your own stabs, but hey, all good. How I actually do this and go about this is I get some scissors, which wasn't a good idea to use the same scissors I had a hard time with earlier. Got it, cut it, and yeah, got some sandpaper. This is 150 grit, which is a little bit too tough, but that's all I had. So I went ahead and like sanded it down a little bit and blew it off to my best of, of ability, and yeah. Then I re-lubed them with Crytox 205 Grade Zero from Kinetic Labs. You can go check that out as well. Link in the description. So I fixed all the stabs and made them good. They're, I mean, they're decent. They're a little bit inconsistent, mainly because I think they're already not the best. I mean, I'm just going to chalk it up to that. I don't want it to be my fault. <laughs> so then we put it all back together, and the only thing left to do now is to... Put the keycaps. Now, if you remember these keycaps, these are the PBT Earl Grey Lavender keycaps from Canon Keys. These are currently not out, I don't think. They could be out by this video, whenever you watch it, depending on when. Yeah, these things, I, I mean, Canon Keys keycaps, uh, they just look good, dude. I like the thick, the thick legends. They, they just look good. I'm a big fan of them. Look pretty sick. They have that purple accent colors. The main color is like a gray with the legends being black, and then they darker gray to surrounding everything. It, it, j it just looks good. But yeah, that's pretty much all the mods. I threw it back together, put the screws back in, and bam. It looks kind of ugly from this part. I know you can't probably tell on camera, but like, you can tell there's a t-shirt in there. Like, <laughs> you can tell there's some stuff shoved in there. Uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and do that sound test. So, what do you think? I think it sounds pretty good. The keyboard has a lot of potential, and I think just for the case alone, like, I wish they just sold this as a kit, dude. To get rid of the keycaps, and maybe even throw in the switches in, like, a bag itself, just, like, throw in, like, a kit, and I would be happy paying this type of money for it. Maybe lower the price, like, 120 130 Like, I would be happy paying for this. The case itself looks insane. I think, 
I don't know. I just think it looks really cool. These keycaps, I didn't know it was going to look good with it because it's green and everything, but I think it does. I think it surprisingly looks really good. But yeah, that is the end of the video. Hopefully, you did enjoy. I had a great time. We hit 30k subs, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You have no idea what that means to me. It's just... It's crazy, dude. Thank you. That is the end of the video. Once again, I'm stalling now, and I will see you in the next one. Fucking leave, loser. You still fucking here? Leave.